Okay, the Suntory God Bubble Maker, 2020 edition. Just got this from Japan, Domo Arigato, to my uh, eBay shipper, uh, Suki-san. And uh, it comes as an authentic Japanese device. No English really whatsoever except on the logo here. This is the actual God Bubble Maker. Um, a holder, I'll show you that in a minute. Another holder that you can put over the can, I'll show you that as well. The box that came in, really nice little uh, something to put your beer can on. And plenty of instructions, all written in Japanese. So, also a coupon of some kind. I can't read it, and I probably wouldn't be able to redeem it. Um, the instructions do have some pictures, and it's possible to kind of follow along, even if you can't understand the words. Um, but I figured that since I got it, and I think it's an awesome little gizmo, I would actually show you how to use it. So, first thing you need is a can of beer, which I'm using a great local brew here. Um, this will handle both short cans and tall cans. If you have a short can, you can just kind of lay it down there and get it at the right spot. If you have a tall can, um, this battery holder will actually slide down to give you a, it has a little detent there so that it would be at the correct height for a taller can. But we're going to do it on this short can. So let me open it first. What you want to do um, to get a really nice head on your beer is first pour it. Uh, don't do a hard pour the way you might do if you were going to be um, pouring it um, uh, to get a head yourself. Do a relatively uh, smooth pour. I'm going to have a bit of problem doing this when I'm trying to hold the camera. Uh, let me put this down for just a sec, and then I will show you. So you, you pour out about, um, oh, I would say three quarters of the can uh, to get a nice, uh, leave a, a nice amount of beer in the can itself because that's what's going to actually be foaming up. Then once you've done that, you take your Suntory Gizmo and you put it right below the mouth of the can. Um, then you, you can use your thumb or your finger, depending on how you like to hold the beer. You push the button and you'll notice uh, here a little light lights up to show you that it's running. Now as you pour it, you may be able to hear the sizzling noise that's going on there. That's actually the ultrasonic uh, bubbling, and you'll also notice that my beer has got quite a head on it now. So I've got it running, and I'm pouring the beer. Got to be pretty careful that you don't pour it too fast. And you notice even though that was a very soft pour, I've got a really big head on this beer. Now the great thing about this head is this generates very fine bubbles. So this isn't kind of a normal bubble that you're going to get off of doing a hard pour uh, right out of the can. You're going to get a much softer um, foam out of this uh, than you would at a hard pour. Beautiful looking head on this. Came out wonderfully. Let me show you some of the other accessories that come with it. Uh, if you have a refrigerator and you're going to use this a lot, you can use the magnet to stick this, uh, the holder, to, to stick this there and then just hang it right there on your refrigerator. Um, there's also this little gizmo here, which is a kind of a rubber band. Um, I'm not quite sure why you would want to use this, although uh, it's, it is actually a pretty useful thing to have if you were going to use this in a situation where you needed to do it one-handed on a regular basis, or maybe you had some, um, you know, some problems holding things, you can use this to hold it against the can, and then when you pour, 
it'll be like that. Um, so I'm really impressed by this. It generates a beautiful head on your beer. Um, you're gonna have to, if you want one, you're gonna have to order it from Japan, just like I did, because I have not seen anybody selling it from the United States. They run anywhere from 25 to 65 dollars. There's an older 2019 version, you notice it says 2020 on it. There's an older 2019 version that clamps around the head of the can. Uh, this is a much easier uh, thing and also fits more nicely in your pocket if you wanted to carry it around. Um, recommend it highly and now you know how to use it.